Hello and welcome to a beginner's guide to fixing photographs in Photoshop Elements 10. Last year I released a video course looking at Photoshop Elements as a whole and I quickly found out that the most popular chapters centered around adjusting photographs which is why I decided to record and release this spin-off series where we'll zoom into the real details of improving and adjusting photographs taken on your digital camera. So who's going to find this course useful? Well I've crafted every chapter to make sure we're starting with the basics and then moving forward one step at a time. As your understanding increases we'll look at some of the more challenging concepts but we'll do it in the mindset of a beginner and we'll be careful not to jump too far forward before we're ready. So beginners who have never used elements before will be pleased to know we start off every topic as if it's the first time we're opening the software. All the files I use are included in the download or the DVD so you can simply follow along with me every step of the way. Existing users may be people who have worked with simple adjustments and now want to get serious will be offered tips, tricks and techniques that will improve their overall experience. And finally, established users who are already cemented into the knowledge base and understanding of Photoshop elements, well this course will offer professional workflows and tried and tested ways to get the very best from the software. I'd certainly recommend you watch A Beginner's Guide to Photoshop Elements before watching this course as you'll gain a good all-round understanding of the software but it is important to note that it's a recommendation and certainly not a requirement. A Beginner's Guide to Photoshop Elements 9 is available as a premium download on the website and A Beginner's Guide to Photoshop Elements 6 is completely free available from the free Photoshop website as well. Either of those would suffice. So what will you learn by taking this particular course? Well, continue watching this chapter to ensure that you get all the pre-course information such as how to install and use the project files and the differences between following along with a PC and following along with a Mac. In Chapter 2 we'll use the quick and guided edit modes to apply a host of basic automatic adjustments including enhancing colours, correcting skin tones and adding a depth of field effect. In Chapter 3 we'll focus on the tonal range of a photograph where I'll demystify many of those words you're going to need to understand such as tone, shadows, highlights, midtones, contrast and others We'll look at lightening and darkening some landscape images and brightening up a murky shot of an owl using the shadow highlight command. In chapter 4 we'll explore colour and some of the commands and options that will help us change and improve it. That means starting at the beginning and understanding how colour works inside of Elements, a concept I'll explain using the RGB colour wheel. We'll then look at removing a colour cast from a foggy Dallas morning and getting some easy automatic help with the smart fix command. In chapter 5 we'll take all of what we've learnt in the previous two chapters and home in on some of Element's most powerful image editing tools, levels and curves. We'll start with the basic auto commands and end by making our own channel by channel adjustments directly to a histogram to add some life and passion to a Grand Canyon image. Again, that may sound rather complex, but we'll be taking it one step at a time and I'll explain everything in glorious detail as we work. In our final chapter, number 6, we'll look at the stuff that didn't fit into the other chapters such as identifying and removing lens distortion from a Caribbean beach scene to healing away unwanted and stray details such as a date stamp from a selection of holiday snaps. This course is all about giving you the confidence and know-how to fix and adjust your own photographs from the comfort of your living room. The series is available either via digital download or on DVD which is shippable worldwide. If you have any questions about that or any other aspect of the course please email me at admin at freephotoshop.com and I'll do my best to respond personally and quickly. 
Coming up next we'll be looking at the key differences between using Elements on the PC and using it on the Mac. Thanks for viewing the intro and I'll see you in the next video.